Welcome back to Theo is back. I'm at the Remeraji Poroso station. I'm about to take a bus to the rural areas to show you a bit of outside of Chigali. Come with me. As the gyms continue to be closed for seven months now, me and other gym owners here in Rwanda keep on struggling to stay afloat. The visa code rate of Uruguay and Erku Koribin of Joe said show what's a culture in the COVID Germany gender, but our sports industry is dying, Kabisa. Mudutabare. Okay, guys, we are in Ramagana. This is my cousin, Rusagara, and uh, his son. What is your name? My name is Chiwahiro. Chiwahiro. Yes, he has the same name as my big brother, actually. So we're going for a family visit right around the corner. The best part about this worst situation is I have a lot more time to visit my family and Rwanda. Fun fact about my cousin, he is also a second born, just like me. His mother is the big sister of my father. And we're going to visit his mother, so my aunt. Uh, but he is 15 years older than me. It's very weird. His brother, Damien, who is like 17 years older than me, also has a grandchild. Really crazy, man. Do you guys have such old cousins? I'm not, I'm not used to that shit yet. In this random vlog I took, I want to share with you three reasons why you should visit rural Rwanda more often. Come with me. On number three, I would say the scenery. The views. It starts with the roads. As soon as you leave Chigali, you cannot deny the breathtaking views that are around you. I must say though, the night views are for Chigali because of the urbanizations and the lights everywhere. But daytime views, definitely, definitely, for that you need to go outside of Chigali. The hills go on and on and one day when I'm rich, I wish to take a, like a helicopter tour to ride this same route because I feel like there's even more things that we are not seeing from the roadside. And look how clean Rwanda is. It's just amazing. No tarmac, nothing at all. But oh, wait. What is that? What is that? There are more and more beautiful lodges being built in peaceful and quiet environments. Escaping the busy capital life of Chigali for the rural areas full of greenery is just amazing. We all do need to work on our mental health and these kind of areas definitely help. Life is on a much slower pace. You can truly enjoy the nature and calm your thoughts and your mind down. Reason number two, I would say just to spread the wealth. Your money is definitely a lot worth more outside of Chigali than inside Chigali. Uh, if you're coming from Europe like I did, you find that Rwanda in general is quite cheap. But Chigali, on the other hand, is becoming more and more expensive by the day. So when you go outside of Chigali, you realize that your money almost doubles in value. Of course, many people in Rwanda still live below the poverty line of about $1.90 a day. Okay. Ah, this is a very beautiful place. So the little money that you can spend here is very much welcomed. I like just taking boat trips, buying from local sellers on the streets. I'm sure he does not get often the chance to hang out with his son, to do such fun stuff. This is nice. And when I'm by car, I like to pass by markets and buy from there. This is usually where you find the most fresh vegetables and fruits in all of Rwanda. Alright, my favorite reason, reason number one is, I would say, the people, or in my case, family. This is Cyprien, yeah. the youngest brother of uh, Rusagara. Mm. Eh? Yes. Hey. Hey. Ah, yes. 
I find that people in rural areas are even more friendlier, more kind and more welcoming. Many of them are very shy to talk to foreigners for the first time, but once you break that barrier, it's all fun. Because I got family living here, I get to infiltrate the deepest part of Rwanda to the most rural places that rarely get visitors from outside of Rwanda. I get to talk to the local residents in their native language and I realize that we all have a, and I, and I realize we all live a kind of the same life. We are all unhappy about something, we have issues with our health, family drama and not enough money. However though the magnitude is quite different. This is my auntie, my father's sister. At 77 years old, she feels more like a grandma to me. For some reason, seeing her fills me up with such great and immense joy and happiness. I would cry if I was the crying type. She looks so much like my father. Growing up, I knew so little of my father's family, especially because two out of the three siblings died in 94. And this is the only sibling left. When my father also passed away a few years ago, so did a certain connection to this to his part of the family. Seeing my auntie here, who looks like him, laughs like him, really brings him back for a bit. Also, my dad's side has a lot of males, so it's nice to see some female representation. As much as I love my beautiful Rwanda, there's one thing that really breaks my heart whenever I'm outside of Chigali and that is poverty. Everyone who comes to Rwanda for the first time is struck by it and it gives such a hopeless feeling. I remember my first time coming back to Rwanda in 2009. I couldn't really cope with it. And the first time I took my girlfriend to visit her family outside of Chigali, she cried and cried like I've never seen her cry before. It's so sad, especially knowing that these people are my family. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, please don't forget to support me by just giving me a like or subscribe. Or you can do so by supporting me on Patreon, link below. Like I said, I'm doing some consultancy. If you like, just hit me up on one of my social medias linked below. Alright guys, have a good day. I'd like to see you next time. <laughs> So, this was my visit. Thank you very much. Subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Oh yeah, on the way back we had to take a boat. But it was quite full and actually quite scary. Because I realized this boat was overpacked. But I'm sure 90% of these people cannot swim. So I'm, I'm, I just cross my fingers hope that nothing bad happens.